What is going on YouTube is RCMC here and I'm bringing a brand new series to the channel. We've done some other drafts before in the past, RCF, TPL, those sort of things. But this time we are going to be a part of the IBA, the International Battle Association Draft League, hosted by Slightly Salty, W3S7 West, Monkferno. Um, I think there's some other people that are moderators in that, but those are the three that I know for sure are. So huge shout out to them for asking me to be part of this series of part of the draft league. I'm super excited to be part of it and I'm super excited to hopefully get some dubs this season and actually come out on with a winning with a winning record this season. That's the goal for this season for me personally is just to come out with a winning record. But that's just for me. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to give you a team analysis of who we have on our team and who we drafted. So when it comes to drafting, I'm not the best at it. I'm not very experienced at drafting, but I did my best. And I have a couple reasons for mods that I brought, but not a ton of them. So with all that being said, we are going to get into the first one. First pick of the draft was Tapu Koko. So Tapu Koko I picked because, honestly, because of how fast it is. And I know it can hit hard. I know it can come in first hit first and get itself out of there very quickly and hit hard while doing it. Um, Tapus, I know from other draft leagues are pretty hot commodities and I wanted to go ahead and get one. And I've used Tapu, Tapu Coco before and I liked how, how it worked, so that's what I picked. The second mon that we picked was Halucha. Um, no reason for Halucha to be 100% honest. Um, Rebel, Rebel Trainer, uh, we're doing the three op together. Make sure you go check him out. Um, I know he had a Halucha before in one of his series, in one of his draft leagues, and it seemed to do very well. Uh, so I thought of it as a decent mod that could go in draft league. And yeah, that there wasn't, there's, like I said, there's not very much to why Halucha. I just know it's a good mod all around, and it can, it can do what it needs to do in the right hands. Those, if those hands are mine, is, is, is not yet seen, but we'll see. Our third pick for the draft league, our round three pick, was Hydreigon. Um, like Halusha, I didn't really have a big pick. I didn't really have a big idea of what I wanted to do in, in round three. But after picking Tapu Koko, I realized that um, a Fairy Dragon Steel core is something I could work on for this for this team that I was building. So I decided to go with Hydreigon. Uh, it was it was a good dragon, but it was also um, decently cheap I guess to get and it wasn't gonna cost me a ton of points um, I probably should talk about how we did how we drafted um, the way we drafted was we it was points based so we all got a specific amount of points I believe it was it was uh, 120 points is what we got to begin with and each Pokemon had a specific amount of points at, uh, put to it of how many points it cost for us to get it so when it comes to the mods that I picked, uh, Top, Top of Coco was 19 points, Halucha was 17, and Hydreigon was also 17 points. So they seemed like a, Hydreigon seemed like a decent mon, a decent dragon type to have, and wasn't very expensive. Our fourth round draft picked was Bronzon for nine points. Bronzon uh, was here for its steel type, um, helping round out the fairy dragon steel um, core that I had been setting up and also for its defensive stats um, the mods before it were all pretty not not very defensive if I do say so so uh, having something that was that had the defensive stats and could take a couple hits was something that I really needed at this point, and Bronzon really fit the bill for what I needed. Then in our fifth round draft pick, we had Talonflame for nine points as well. Uh, Talonflame was here because I thought I, I thought I wanted a Fire type um, to go to go along with everything that I was doing, and uh, Talonflame seemed to fit a uh, Flying type as well, and also um, super fast. Uh, Talonflame has a what is it 126 speed? I think it is so super fast I think, he's, I think he's the second fastest mon on my team so he he can come in hit hard and then get out of there just like Tapu Koko if Tapu Koko goes down or I don't want to bring Tapu Koko a week 
having another mod that's super fast, uh, I thought would be very helpful. And then our sixth round draft pick, um, I picked Sharpedo. Um, at this point, I was worried about my points and running out of points and not being able to get the mods that I wanted because I didn't have enough points or I wasn't going to be able to draft enough mods to fill out a team. Uh, so Sharpedo was a mod that I picked because it was only seven points. And also for its water typeness and its dark type, um, it's got a 120 attack. I think it's got, it's got the second highest attack stat out of every mod that I picked, I think. So hits hard, um, can't really take a hit, but he does hit hard and hopefully he can do what he needs to do and get some get some kills and everything like that. In our seventh round draft pick, um, I chose Machamp, another one that was only eight points, pretty cheap, and also a, that fighting type. Uh, I thought I, I thought it would help me round out some things. I had some things, some um, applications open showing me what I needed and what I, what it would be helpful, what typings would be helpful. So I chose Machamp. Uh, hits hard, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, just just here to hit hard. Really, that's what that's what he's here for, and the fight and his fighting type that I think can be helpful in certain situations where fighting type is very much necessary. So coming in at number eight is Vileplume. He was our eighth round draft pick for seven points as well. Um, he was he's here mostly for his grass type and his effect spore and the different status things he can do to Mons, whether it's um, poisoning, getting an effect spore off, and putting something to sleep, um, those sort of things. He's here for that. He's here more of just an annoyance than he is for really hitting hard. Uh, but he can do that as well, and so um, his special attack is 110, 111, no, 110. Second highest out of everyone that we have, just behind Hydreigon. So he can hit hard, and he's also here just to just just to really annoy my opponent because that's what I want. I want to annoy him. Coming in at number nine, our ninth round draft pick is Agron, only for four points. Um, this was another where I was very worried about my points, and I knew what I wanted to get later on. And he's he's really honestly, as much as I like Agron, he's just here to fill to fill a slot. He really is. He's not super duper really help really strong in anything his defense is super high so he's super bulky he can come out if I really just need something to to take a couple hits it's like a 180 defense his attack stats also pretty good but his HP is just super low his HP is only 70 so he he can take hits but he doesn't have a lot of it he can't take a lot of them because of his HP so I think that's why he was so low on the list but yeah he's he's more of less just here to fill a slot maybe he gets traded maybe he doesn't but yeah he's just here pretty much coming in at the ninth slot is Alolan Marowak Alolan Marowak is here for its ghost type but mostly he's here because if you've never seen another draft league by me most of the time I let my girlfriend Emily pick at least one mon that I that I draft and Alolan Marowak, Alolan Marowak is the one she chose so that's mostly why he's here uh, but his ghost, his ghost ability, his ghost typing, will be also be helpful um, against like normal types and fighting types and stuff like that. So that's helpful. Just having that extra ability, because you know sometimes, sometimes you need you need a ghost because you can't, so you can't get hit by things. You know, some 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 sometimes it happens. But that's what he's here for. And then coming in last but not least is Cobalion, another steel type steel fighting type um i really don't have much reasoning i had 10 points or so i don't remember exactly how many points i had at least 10 he was he was 10 points despair and i he he was he looked like one of the strongest mons that i could get out of that group of level of 10 points mon uh he's pretty good well-rounded mon he has a 108 speed 129 defense he has nine, 90 attack and special attack. I just think he's a, he's a good well-rounded mon. He's definitely a, a more bulky with that steel typing, but he can also be helpful in other ways. So he's just here to round out the team. 
So that is our team. That is the Hall of Hound Dooms. Make sure you press the like button and subscribe down below so you can see more IBA Draft League battles as they will be coming out every Saturday on the channel. Also, make sure you go down the down in the description and also check out every other coach that is a part of the Draft League links. To all the channels will be down there in the description down below. Uh, make sure you go check all them out, subscribe, watch their point of views, all that sort of stuff. But with all that being said, let me know down the, let me know down in the comments what you think of my team, what do you think of the of my drafting, um, what do you think I could have done better, what mons I could have picked instead of that could have been better instead of ones that I picked. Uh, just let me know. You know, I'm always always willing to. I always like seeing what you guys put down and seeing how you guys think through things because a lot of it's probably different than the way I think of things. And you guys probably have much more experience than I do. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching and checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe for next Saturday will be our week one match against Just Kurt. Uh, it will be week one against him. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. They were checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!